It's time for what? Another recipe. Yes, today I am trying homemade hummus, but not just any homemade hummus, beet hummus. I know, for all my beet fans out there, I am going to show you how I'm going to make my homemade beet hummus. Come along. In my food processor, I have a can of garbanzo beans, three cloves of garlic that I chopped. I didn't have time to roast it, so I'm putting it in raw, not my favorite. Salt, pepper, and a half a cup of non-fat Greek yogurt and one tablespoon of extra virgin olive oil. I'm going to whiz this up before I put my beets in because I don't want my beets to be mush. Well, they're gonna be obviously pureed, but um, this is a little bit harder, so I wanna get these processed down first and I will show you what it looks like when we get there. I might have to add a little bit of water, but I'll let you know. Peas and garlic and yogurt have been processed and you see how it's very, very smooth. I added two beets. I'm gonna see if that's enough. I do have more. These are fresh. Roasted beets that I roasted myself. So I'm gonna give pro process these and see if I need a little bit more. Right now these are two small ones. Nice. I did wind up adding three more small beets. So a total of five beets went in here. I just didn't think it was beety enough. <laughs> and I love my beets. So let me show you how I'm gonna serve it. Be right There's back. Hummus. I topped it with some chopped roasted beets. And all I added, a recap, it was one can of chickpeas drained and rinsed, five roasted small beets chopped, three cloves of garlic chopped, half a cup of non-fat Greek yogurt, and one tablespoon of extra virgin olive oil, salt and pepper. Put it in the food processor, and I just topped it with some chopped beets. Serve this with vegetables, crackers. It's really, really tasty, I have to say. And let me taste it just to prove it. Like I always say the proof is in the taste. I here have a little pretzel. I'm going to dip in. And of course I'm going to grab a beet on there because I love beets. So there it is. See the beet? I love it. I do wish I'd roasted the garlic. Was a little garlic forward. But if you don't mind garlic forward, then don't roast your garlic, but I'm a little, a little less garlic, but the consistency is great. Taste is good. Love the beet background. I'm a beet girl. Thumbs up for me. All right, guys, if you enjoyed this quick little tutorial on how to make beet hummus without using tahini, please give this video a thumbs up. If you've already, subs if you are, have you haven't subscribed already, please hit that subscribe button, notification bell, let you know when I upload. Now, I have to count the points for the olive oil and that's it so one tablespoon of olive oil I think is to the four or six points I can't remember but that would be for this whole entire container of beet hummus and I'm not gonna eat it all in one sitting so I can carry, carry each portion as one point if that I don't care about olive oil sorry <laughs> all right guys have a great day Bye. And remember, a great dip is never more than a few steps away. Be creative in your kitchen. Try something. You never know. You just never know. Today, the tomorrow's wrap for one point. One point's worth of chicken breast, some cucumbers, and my homemade beet hummus. Um, actually, the whole container is four points for the olive oil, and I only have a small portion, so I'm counting it as zero and a bag of flex protein crisps for two points so this lunch is two three four smart points for this delicious lunch talk to you later and the recipe for the hummus the beet hummus will be up on my youtube channel hopefully by tonight thanks bye you want to check it out